Hello again, YouTubers. Welcome back to another Captain's Unboxing. I'm the board game captain. And I'm Lynn. And today we're going to be unboxing this copy of Near and Far, which includes the Kickstarter components in it. So now, uh, we didn't actually kickstart Near and Far. We picked it up at Gen Con, but they were selling copies they had with the Kickstarter components there. Uh, and this box weighs a ton. It does. So I'm guessing there's some really cool Kickstarter exclusive components in there. I, I want to say Metal Coins oh. was one of them. <clears throat> well, let's have a look. And there it is. So the first thing we see is a spiral bound book. Book. So what, what's in this? Oh, it's, that's the book of boards because there's so many different uh, different places to go on adventures in in this game. Chili peppers. <laughs> Those are chili peppers. <clears throat> Those are really pretty. I really like the look of these boards, and I love how uh, how thick is this? A nice thick cardstock. Yeah, it's thickish. So it's like a it's not a cardboard, but the book is made of a thick cardstock. And um, wow, do they give you a lot of boards to play on. There really are quite a few, aren't there? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty neat. Uh, now what do we have? Looks like the rule book. Ah. See, it says rule book. Indeed it does say rule book. <laughs> well, I didn't see that yet. Uh, it's so like it looks full color. Full color. Lots of uh, clear illustrations, lots of arrows. <clears throat> I like that. It looks like a well put together rule book. Yes. It's quite, quite, Thick though, there's an index on the back, so if you're well, wanting to look up something quickly, I think there's multiple modes of play for this game. So there might be lots of different rules in there for the different modes of play. Uh, mm. This is, but it looks like a very well put together rule this book. Looks like the storybook. That's pretty big. Let's see what we got. Oh, so it's it, it, it's is this is very much it, is it very much like the one from Tales of the Arabian Nights? Yeah, they got the numbers, and then you read <clears throat> the stuff. So very it looks similar. like they have uh, different skills and that affect it if you have mm. certain things. Well, that is something a lot of people have been comparing this to the old game Tales of the Arabian Nights because of that uh, that storybook. Um, and then we have some punch outs. Looks like some characters. I want to be I want to be the lizard person. <laughs> some more punch outs. Ooh, there's a goat person too. There's a little hoggy orty hog person. Oh, cool! Lizard people, different kinds of lizards. It's like That's a horn, awesome. a horn lizard. Yeah, really, really cool stuff. Is that an There's a pupper. Automaton there? There's or something? a dude with glasses with a cat on his shoulder. That could be you. <laughs> oh, hold on. What? There's a platypus. Is there? A, there is a platypus. There's a platypus. There is. Okay, and what do we have here? Uh, I love the artwork that Red Raven Games does. This looks oh, like that's a the main little... board, I think. Because I, I believe this is called the, I think there's, this is two-sided, there's two different versions still. Yes. And this is, I believe they call this the town board, and you have stuff you can do in the town. And there are two different towns you can have as your town, and then there's lots of different adventure boards you could have. So there's huge amounts of variety. Extra bags. Oh, I like the extra baggies. Ooh, big, nice big cloth bag. Must be some random drawers in here or something. Looks like we have some gems. Red gems, yes, indeed. Some metal, oh, metal coins. That, there's some heft to that. Why don't you open those up? Let's have a look at them. I don't know. It's Why don't you give it to you? I'll tell you what. You give it to me. Sealed. I'll open it while you're working on There's some pretty the red and gold dice. Uh, little standees, I'm guessing, for the cardboard people. Some wooden, looks like tents. Why don't you pull a couple of those out to show what they look like? So those are like uh, little wooden tent tokens. And what else? Are they all tents? They're all, they're all, oh, there's a... <clears throat> There's little round uh, markers. Markers. I don't know what they're for, but yeah, these are little tents in four different colors. Now I do not know if these metal tokens come in the standard set or if these are just for the Kickstarter, but. These are amazing. I just want to show, this is um, a silver coin here. There's two different kinds. I'm guessing they're different values. The silver is probably the higher value, but these are these are really, really, really nice. There's a double-sided pad, which has uh, character stuff on it. 
One side has talents and keywords. The other side has uh, <clears throat> character names, side quests, campaign stuff. Uh, I also really like that it came with a pencil. I love when, everything you, need is in the when box. everything you need is in the box. Don't tell me I need to put a token on something and then don't give me any flipping tokens. Well, they gave it to you. I don't know why yes. you're getting angry no, right it's now. Just, I, <laughs> <laughs> here's a bunch of brass coins, the other variety of coin, and here is a close-up on what these look like because these are these are gorgeous. And again, I am not certain that these are in the, the regular version of the game. These might just be... Uh, Kickstarter components, but these are really really nice. I really like those this uh, These are all different kinds of cards. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it again What did you say? I saw a card that it was an item card and it said adorable kitten That was the item adorable kitten plus one heart when you end your movement on a camp That, <laughs> that is great <laughs> <laughs> that so is these awesome. Look like they're all items that will help you and give you stat upgrades. There's armors and weapons. I am attempting Let's to open see. a pack of cards here, but well, most of these have a little. Oh, do they? The little uh, like cigarette thing. No, for this you. one doesn't. Okay. This, uh, well, this might be a Kickstarter exclusive thing. It's different than the others. Let's see. This looks Don't like um, quest stuff. There's show them to the camera. I don't know, a talking statue. There's a ghost lantern. Um, they could be items too. Hard to say yeah. till we till we read the rules. Because they look uh, they look different than the other ones mm. that gave you I guess they were buff cards. They they upped your stats. These seem to give you things. So like you gain a food when you visit a certain place. So you know, these these are, are for writing on. These appear to be, maybe for if you're doing the campaign mode, these seem to be character sheets. And they have a bunch of different character sheets, and they're, they're card stock. They're not just like paper. Uh, they're a bunch of different character sheets for the different uh, characters in here. And these are really nice uh, and very nicely done. Um, and they seem to have all the different pictures for all the different characters that uh, that you can pick up in there. So those are really cool. It's like these are things that you fight. There's bandits, ancient robots, stone warriors, and then we have some um, item cards. They have little treasure chests on the back, so I'm guessing you get them when you uh, investigate some place where you get a treasure. There's weapons. There's that guy is cool, the Red King. I don't know. The He's Red a boss. King? The back of the thing says boss. Oh. Might be the boss of the game or don't really know. Let's see. I've got a mini deck of cards here. Um not Look like that. Sure. This one's a treasure chest. Yeah, I had a bunch of them in. And then on the other side there's a bone pick. So that's an item of some kind. And then these kind of show, I don't know, Meteor Shrine. So these, these, places. Yeah, I think these are locations. Um, on the other side, they have the Mysterious Cave, Ancient Castle, Six-Eyed Mammoth, uh, Coordinated Snakes, Unseen Sinkhole. So yeah, these might be like events or, or locations that you find. These are all the same. <clears throat> they look like they're just player boards. Oh yeah, those must be personal player boards. So I guess that's it. Oh, side is nice. A nice. Let's show that to the camera. A nice, pretty illustrated sort of insert. It's really just a, a bottom of the box and uh, uh, little little edges in the corner there. But uh, yeah, they didn't have to do that. That's really cool. It's really nice. So that's everything that comes in the box for near and far. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share this video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the board game Captain, that's Captain spelt with a K on YouTube. And until next time, game on.